froze. Well, if you're planning on sticking around for a while anyway, I suppose I should introduce myself. My name is Adam. I guess I'm a professional theater something performer, technician, teacher. I want to tell you a little bit about how I got to be that way. When I was two years old, as the story goes, I went with my mother to go pick up my sister from dance class, and I would run out on the floor with all the other dancers, and they couldn't keep me from it. So at about two and a half, they put me in class, and that's when I started dancing. Classically trained in ballet, tap, Dance was my first passion, a huge part of my life. I uh, stayed with dance training probably until college, undergrad. When I was eight years old or so, I think it was eight, my dance teacher told all of the dance students that there was an audition for a local theater company, a community theater company that wanted dancers to come out and audition. She encouraged us all to go out and five or seven of us or so went out. We all auditioned. It was my first audition. I didn't know what I was doing. I was absolutely a little ham at that age. And not only was I the only one out of the group that was cast, but they gave me the lead. They were doing Oliver and I played Oliver. That was the first role I ever did. <clears throat> and ever since then, I've been doing theater. I've performed in at least, at the very least, one show a year since I was eight years old. Not very long after that, one of my first, uh, I guess, professional performances, as you could call it, uh, I actually got to tap on stage with Gregory Hines. That was a very cool experience. I was young. I don't remember it very well, but I'm going to keep that credit with me till I die. So anyway, theater became a passion on top of dance, and when I was 12 years old, I spent my summer working for my first dinner theater, and I was paid for that, so that was my first paying gig, and after that, I spent uh, a few years, as my, my teenage years doing my summer job, was uh, dinner theater, which was a great way to start Learning how to sustain longer performances when you're doing shows eight times a week. Learning how to keep everything fresh. Le learning how to keep each audience entertained as much as the first one. During middle school and high school, I was also learning different instruments. So I was playing in the school band. I learned trumpet, tuba. I played sousaphone in the marching band. And I also started playing in garage bands. It was the 90s. We all wanted to be, you know the next grunge band, so we all ran into the garage. Of course, I had a barn. We were a barn band, not a garage band. I started playing guitar and bass, and throughout high school and college, I played with several different bands that just played locally. So when I graduated high school and it was time to go to college, it felt very natural to me to pursue theater. Uh, studied at Kutztown University for my undergrad degree. But that is where I began working in the scene shop and also doing technical theater and finding that as a real passion. Stagecraft, behind the scenes production. So after I graduated from college, I actually got hired back as the assistant technical director for the theater department. That would help build sets, install lights, run the shows. Right away at the beginning of my career, Theater and production were my entire life. I can very proudly say that I have sustained a career off of performing, doing tech work, and production roles ever since I graduated from college. There was a, a couple years where I uh, had some pickup work here and there, and then of course 2020 happened and that pulled the rug out of the industry entirely. But I have really enjoyed diversifying myself and learning all kinds of different roles within the theater world, within the production world. While I was in college, I learned from so many amazing teachers, but one technique that 
I focused on that really took my attention is an emotions recall technique called Alba emoting. It just so happened that my advisor, my undergraduate advisor, was one of the first Americans to train in this technique. And that really became a passion for me after I graduated college. So I traveled the country and uh, a few other countries as well, um, pursuing workshops and studying from other teachers and ultimately going to Chile and studying with Susanna Block, the creator of Alba Emoting, and getting my teacher's certification from her, ultimately. That was back in 2011. And ever since then, it never ceases to amaze me what theater can do, what opening up other people to their own artistry, to their own passions, what joy that brings to their face and what satisfaction it brings to me as a teacher. I, I want to spread the message that there are so many ways that you can appreciate the artistry of theater or performance. And if you're feeling stuck in one way or another, maybe it's time to explore other avenues. There are so many ways to be an actor. There are so many ways to be a technician. And there are so many avenues these days. I want to help encourage a culture of people who want to be the new face of what it is to be an actor. That's all. So, nice to meet you. Stop by anytime. I got a couple more beers in the fridge if you want one. We can hang out and just talk for a while. Mox good. Mox ever besser.